Okay. Here's my solar problem today. As you can see, it's overcast and raining. It was pouring earlier. When it's pouring hard, I was getting about one amp. Right now, I'm getting about three amp, which not keeping up with things much. So today's not a good solar day, and uh, I think even if I spent 50 grand on a solar system, I wouldn't be getting too far today. Uh, I think this system, what you call a, a high-end poor poor man system, I got about five grand in it. I think that's way more than most people want to throw on a solar system. Uh, by the time I'm done, 11 panels should run me pretty good. I'll be kind of overrunning the batteries a bit, but oh well. The big idea is on a overcast day like today with five more panels, at least maybe I'll get enough to keep things moving. We'll see. Anyhow, this is a solar dilemma. Rainy days in Florida. We don't get too many of them, but uh, that's how it goes some days. Anyhow, on with the solar. Bye. Greetings from Steve and my new solar setup. You can see I have pulled circuits out of the panel and put them in this junction box. I got a 30 amp disconnect, 20 amp fuse, a couple 15 amp breakers, four circuits, four circuits. I can uh, transfer switch them over if I need to. Anyway, this is only a 50 amp controller. I have another 60 amp controller on order. I'm going to put it over there. And I'm going to run nine panels, three, three, and three. And then I have the two 330 watt panels I'm going to put over on facing west. Uh, unfortunately, my wife doesn't want to see them on the roof. But uh, that's okay. Anyway, let's go. We have storms forecast all day, some kind of tropical thing coming. That's where my 330s are going to live. I figure uh, out of sight, out of mind. Anyway, getting ready to put three more 290s up here. Uh, come up the ladder with me. Anyhow, I'm just going to come to the edge. Run three, three, and three. That should work good. Uh, let's talk uh, battery life. I've got 16 Trojan T145 batteries, eight and eight parallel. That's like 1,060 minutes at 25 amps till they're dead. 530 minutes for 50 percent. That's not a heck of a lot, 25 amps. Considering when my 25 cubic inch free refrigerator freezer thing goes into defrost, it pulls 11 amps. That's quite a bit. But most of the time during the day, we're pulling 4 or 5 amps. Let's see what I'm pulling right now. This is a handy little gizmo. Craftsman AC-DC clamp ammeter. They're cheap. Let's see what we got. 3.8 amps, and the inverter takes 0.7 amps anyway, so uh, I'm not running the fridge on it. Let's move the fridge over. Let's see what happens when I plug the fridge in there. Here's the fridge. Uh, give it a couple seconds. Let's see. Here goes the fridge. Not bad. Still under 4 amps. There we go. 4. Yeah, it's climbing up. Not much. Pretty cool. You know, these people, I watch a lot of videos before I did this. I got a background, uh, was an electrician, worked on golf carts for a few years, learned about batteries, six-volt batteries that way. Uh, hobby is electronics, so I know a little bit about this crap. Uh, first experience with batteries like this was in GTE telephone switching central office where they had big XI batteries, big as me, 48 volts. And... Uh, Boy, that'd be nice to have some of them. Whew. Anyway, if I draw 10, 12 amps, 
I, I can do that for 24 hours, but that's about it. And that's a pretty good set of batteries I got out here. It's, uh, you know, 16 Trojan T145s wasn't, weren't cheap. They're like $240 batteries. Uh, not that I paid that for them, but, uh, you know, I've got probably five grand into a system that runs my refrigerator and some lights and fans and stuff. Uh, you know, I don't see people that, you know, run 12 volt systems with a 12 volt inverter and, you know, a couple deep cycle 12 volt batteries are going to get too far. Certainly not going to run very long. Because, uh, like I said, with everything on, I get about 24 hours for them down to 60%. And uh, hopefully I won't have to do that very often. But we did it during Hurricane Irma, no problem. So, anyhow, battery life. You got to have at least some decent batteries. These are kind of marginal, but they get us by. Well, here's my new mount. Let's see if we can get a better look at this. Anyhow, I have two of these silver 290s going to go in here. I'm going to get one more. And I can run 3-3-3. Three, three, and three. That'll give me I don't know, 100 and some odd volts. I don't know. We'll see if it works. This is where the two 330s are going to go. I wish I could put them there, but... Unfortunately, the wife says, no dice. Beautiful this morning. Here comes the storm. Not much solar today. Beauty. Anyhow, this is going to be fun. Here's my reliable 2500 watt inverter. Hmm. Uh, I gotta replace those MOSFETs over there. A couple other things. Burnt fuse is all up. Should work, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, try this again. Last day, I'm getting like 6.3 amps out of six panel. Almost 10 in the morning. That's not so good. I'm pulling six and a half amps off the batteries right now. There's my six. There's my new three. Grounded. Yeah, I know. Real close to the weather head. They'll probably get pissed off about that, but oh well. I'll fight that battle someday. Anyway, lots of panels. Nine of them, three, three, and three. 100, 105 volts. Who knows? 16, 18 amps. Who knows, maybe out 20 amps. We'll see. Should be good. Uh, Solar Steve again. Let's talk about what can I run and how long can I run it. These are 16 Trojan T145s. By themselves, they're good for 25 amps or 530 minutes. That's, that's take them dead which we don't want to do anyway. So these two banks will give me at least uh, 1,060 minutes at 25 amps till they're dead. Well, we don't want to do that, so what do I get? Maybe 500 minutes at 25 amps? That's not so long, if you think about it. Um, I get sun. These panels here, the six that I've been running, I get maybe 3.30, it drops off to 15 or so amps. By 5 o'clock, I'm getting maybe 3 amps. So from, say, 4 o'clock till at least 8.30 or 9 the next day, I'm not getting any sun. I'm just getting a little bit of juice. And I'm running uh, 25 cubic foot tea, or TV, refrigerator, ceiling uh, fans. 46 inch Sony TV, uh, no problem. Of course, they only draw, you know, maybe six, seven amps. Uh, 
till the uh, refrigerator decides to go to defrost mode, and then it's it's pulling. Yesterday I saw it pulling 18 amps for a little bit with everything on. That's pretty good. That's gonna nuke my batteries good. The fan comes on and the inverter. So if you think about it, these batteries are easy 250 a piece with cores and taxes and all that crap. So do the math, 16 of them. We're talking, you know, 3,800. I don't know, a lot of money. I didn't pay that for these. I paid 1,900 for these, but. That's a pretty decent battery bank, and you don't get but 10 amps for 24 hours, you know? Wow. I feel bad for the people that have 12-volt systems with a couple 12-volt deke cycle batteries and a 12-volt inverter. What can you run off that? My God, it probably pulls 100 amps just to get 10 white bulbs going. So, uh, who knows? Anyhow, enough rambling on. Let's see. I'm getting 7.3 amps. Batteries are at 50.4 or so. 375 watts. That's under 68 volts. I doubt it's ever going to get out of bulk today. This is a great little charge controller, by the way. Make Sky Blue MPPT Solar Charge Controller. I think it's a heck of a deal. Yeah, it's got no fancy software, but who cares? I know when it's sunny and when it's nighttime. Anyway, this right here, can't say enough about it. Ames 2000 watt 48 volt inverter best thing I ever did did hook it up direct I said runner will pull out fuse disconnect fuse at 25 amp just for fun four 15 amp breakers four different circuits move the circuits out of my panel into this junction box if I need to I just transfer them back over to the grid pretty cool system by my means anyhow New board will go there, new charge controller. It'll be interesting to see. We'll video it. Bye bye. I'm up to, I was up to eight and a half amps. Not bad for overcast day. No sun hardly at all. Let's see what's going on inside. It's a handy gizmo. Eh, six and a half amps, so we're barely pulling ahead. Not bad, though.